Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we will be doing uh, drafting and by drafting I mean we will be uh, generating different views of this model that is the motor cover and uh, we do this basically because when any part needs to be manufactured uh, the manufacturer needs the design dimension as well as the drawing sheet details so we'll see how we can create a sheet and then uh, put our different uh, views onto that sheet so that uh, it makes sense while manufacturing all right so let's quickly start with the drafting so for that i'll start from new document and from here i'll select drawing and press ok now once you press the new drawing you will be asked with the standard so uh, you need to make sure what standard you are following let's say we are going for iso and uh, we need to define sheet style so let's say i'll go for a3 you can go for your preferred sheet style but uh, for this tutorial i'll be utilizing a3 sheet and for the view i'll keep it in landscape mode and press ok to confirm once you do that you will be in the drafting workbench right now you might be getting this type of view when you will be in the drafting workbench and that's because your grid for sketcher grid will be on so you can switch it off from here as you can see don't want it and uh, after that we need to do some basic modifications to our sheet so this is our sheet one I'll come to our sheet right click go for properties and in the properties I will you can also change your uh, format of your sheet from here let's say you want to go for another format you can select from here but let's keep it to a3 iso and landscape now in the projection method we basically have uh, two different projection first angle and third angle as a designer you should know what these are so i'm not going into much detail but uh, let's say for this tutorial i'll prefer third angle projection and press ok so my sheet is ready for drawing all right now from here i will be uh, putting all my views inside the sheet so let's go to insert view projection and front view now, as soon as you do that you will be asked to select a select a plane for your view so for that we'll come to window and go for tile vertically and then you will see that both of your windows will be aligned vertically your part design and your drawing window all right now from here uh, as as i told you uh, we need to specify the plane so let's say we go for yz plane and as soon as you do that your front view will be projected in your drawing sheet now you can maximize your drawing window all right now we can uh, come to our uh, this green highlighted box and press and drag it to the corner like this and uh, once you are happy you can come out of that uh, green window and press anywhere on the drawing sheet and your front view will be ready over here now you'll also see that this there is a, a red dotted window uh, in your front view let's say you don't want to uh, you don't want it in your sheet so all you have to do is come to your uh, front view right click go to properties and uh, in the view itself you can see the visualization behavior display view frame so that is basically a view frame and which which is already uh, switched on so i'll switch it off from there and uh, one thing that we can also do is we can Go, come to dress up feature and show access right and then press ok so your uh, frame will be gone now because we don't want that and some access will be added to your front view now from here we can add uh, more views such as uh, let's go for a top view so for that I'll go to again insert views or else you can come to your you can also see uh, option over here so this is the view option 
and in the view toolbar itself you have the option to add a projection view so I'll select I'll select it and once you do that you'll you'll, you'll get a projection view so let's say you come to the right you'll get a different projection and if you move up you'll get a top view projection of your front view so let's say you are happy with that you can press it like that and again you have to uh, switch off the uh, frame so I'll select it right click go to properties I'll hide the plane I can also show let's say center lines and press ok once you do that your top view will be ready with some center lines as well as uh, your uh, the uh, frame is gone we don't want that all right now if you see both of your uh, views and uh, you can see we have a front view and a top view and uh, in the front view we have a blue uh, axis kind of thing we have the horizontal as well as vertical axis now this basically uh, shows that we are in the front view uh, activate view activated view we have is the front view now we want to change it to the top view so I'll come to top view from the uh, tree right click make it activate view and once you do that your uh, axis will be shifted to your top view and uh, then we can utilize the top view to create a sectional align section view so for that we'll go to insert views then section and align section view and I'll draw a sketch kind of thing from here to the origin and from the origin up to here and if you want to finish it you'll just have to double click it and you'll get a section view like that you can zoom out and let's say you'll paste it here and you'll have a aligned section view from this A axis like this you will see this a axis over here and a axis this basically represents that you're sectioning uh, the view from these two axes and we'll do the same thing so we'll come to this one right click go to properties and switch off the frame all right the next thing we can do is let's say we can go for a detailed view for one of the uh, one of these parts in the in our drawing so for that I'll go to insert view detail and come to detail and all we have to do is we'll have to just draw a circle so I'll let's say you want to go for a detail view of this part so I'll come to the center and draw a circle like that not too big that's perfect and you can place it let's say over here and you'll get a like a detailed view of exactly that portion of your part I'll, I'll switch it off again go to properties switch off the frame and you'll get a detailed view of uh, that thing right the very last thing that we can include is let's say we, we want a isometric view of a part so we can go to insert views projection isometric all right and uh, we will for for putting your isometric view you'll need again go to window and uh, make it tile vertically and then in the part cat part itself you will have to go for isometric view zoom into fit and then select xy plane and once you do that your sheet will include a isometric view of your part now you are happy just click anywhere and you can turn off the frame just like we did earlier and you have a drawing sheet ready for your part now obviously you can add much more details such as uh, uh, different uh, uh, different uh, dimension and uh, 
stuff like that but we'll see it in the next tutorial for now i'm keeping it simple we'll take it a uh, next step further in the another tutorial all right so yeah that's it for this tutorial i hope you guys like it if you have any doubts on this one feel free to comment down below and subscribe if you are watching this thank you guys peace out